Speak this speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I just leave the town crier spoke my lines. Or do not saw the air too much with your hand thus, but use all gently. For in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. What offends me to the soul, to hear a robustious, pettywig-pated fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, to split the ears of the groundlings, who for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have such a fellow whipped for doing termagant. It out headed's headed. Pray you avoid it. I want it, Your Honor. Be not too tame, neither. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action, with this special observance that you o'erstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing, whose end will that the first and now was and is to hold us to our mirror up to nature, to show virtue her own feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body of the time his form and pressure. Now this overdone, or come tardy off, though it make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve. The censure of the which one must in your allowance o'er away a whole theater of others. Oh, there be players that I have seen play, and heard others praise in that highly, not to speak it profanely. And neither having the accent of Christian, pagan, or man, have so strutted and bellowed that I have thought some of nature's journeymen had made men and not made them well, they imitated humanity so abominably.